Welcome back. So this episode, I want to do something more interesting. This is gonna be fine, but I want to make the roof. And for that, I've got a little bit of a plan, you know. Okay, get me some rockets, get some sleep, and then I'm gonna show you something. Okay, you go away. Yep, that money should do. And you can probably guess what I'm gonna do already. Yep, we're gonna write an ocean monument. Let's go! Because I need some sea lanterns. So yeah, this is gonna be quite an adventure. I do still remember from one of the episodes, I think it was the fourth or fifth one, that this way should be one or two monuments. Uh, quite close to each other, but I only need to go close to one of them. I just hope I won't die. Yep, there is the monument. Uh, the boat is signaling the end. <gasps> Wait a bit. Oh my god. Is it really a mushroom island? Oh my god. <sighs> this is amazing. This is so cool. Why did I never notice it? You mean I could have always been here, in the middle, and there is most too. <sighs> it was so close. And this one is even so big. It's ginormous. And because it's a mushroom island, there's no need for mobs, uh, mob proofing. It's the best island I could have ever wanted. And it's quite big too. Maybe in the future we're gonna make a project or two inside of here. Some terraforming and maybe a bit more. Who knows? Okay, uh, back to the topic. I want to go to the monument, right? Where are you? Where are you? Yep, it's gonna be there. Because I want to have some sea lanterns. Wait a bit. Can we nail this landing? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yep. Good, great. Okay, I don't want to die, so I'm gonna go for this. I have enough buckets, so I should be fine. I've got no doors, but do I really need them? I mean, it would be helpful. Yeah, I, I'll go make some. Wait a bit, another? I was really blind that time. Yep, you know, when I searched like three or four or how many thousand blocks. Right, 18, yeah, it should do it. Uh, you can see the fishes, the guardians. Oh my, I don't really like them. Let's see, I've got the eggs, the doors, the milk. Yeah, that should do it. And with the preparation done, we can finally, and I mean really finally, <laughs> jump into the waters. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep, we're getting closer and closer. Do we? Oh no, we didn't make it in time. Okay, one bucket. Uh, okay, again. Come on, let me get you, you big, 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 chunky boy. Come on. Hit them, hit them, hit them. Uh, again, maining fatigue. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh, that was close. Got one of them. Let's see, we've got a lot of sea lanterns, which is great. And now I need to go to the edges. Where are the edges? Oh, not this way. Yep, here. <gasps> You can see the guardian, the entrance. Let's make it here. Let's drink the milk and come on, let's dive them hell divers. And hit, hit, hit. Oh my, mo shinderu. No, ni. Okay. Nice. Theoretically, I should be finding a new family and not uh, doing such a thing like playing Minecraft and doing videos, but yeah, I just want to do it. I love games, I love me my anime and whatsoever. So yeah. And the real reason we came here to the ocean monument was just to get the lights. So yeah, let's go get them. Doop dee doop. Doop dee doop dee doop. <laughs> okay. We are slowly but surely collecting them, as you can see. Pink and pink and bonk and bonk. Sometimes I'm truly asking if I'm already an adult when I am for many, many years already. Wood dark prismarine, I really like this. They are quite expensive to make, so you need to make uh, 
ink farm for them plus the garden farm on top of that <laughs> I did create one of the farms in the past, I mean the guardian ones. They are literally quite easy to make and you don't really need any redstone to do that. But the only problems with them are that, yeah, it's way too time consuming to make them. You need like literally 10 hours, maybe more. There should be somewhere a sponge room, but am I gonna be even so lucky to get one? Because sometimes it's just about luck and when you don't have it, you don't have it. <gasps> yes, there we are. A sponge room, cool. Okay, I don't really need too many of them. Uh, where is it? There you go. There is something so relaxing about, you know, just destroying the sponges with a hoe. And you know that you can try them instantly in the nether, right? That's an amazing feature. The sponge is like literally one of the best blocks in the game, period. Cuckoo. <laughs> no. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that should do it. Let's go back to the base. And let's go. Oh. As you see, this was just a little bit of an adventure, a side adventure if you will. And I do plan to make a guardian farm in the future, but I still don't know when exactly. There at the right side here. Yep, as you can see, <laughs> a second monument. I can write that one a little bit later down the line. Currently I'm not really interested. But if I do make one, it's gonna be on the second one because of the position, you know, for the mob spawning and so on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We need full blocks for the hanging signs, so this area, this whole area about black yellow stripe is gonna be always with blocks. And I still need to plan out where the light sources are gonna be if I'm gonna plant some of them on the floor or if everything is gonna be on the ceiling. Three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Okay. Okay, this looks good. And then right here. Let's see, I can only hope I've gotten enough of the cylinders. We're gonna see it literally in a bit. So I need to go back to the monument, which I'm not gonna record, but I'm gonna get 16 all together. And I'm gonna change this one, and this one, and this one, and this one for the lamps. We're gonna go there, and plus another one, two, three, four here. Yeah, so 20 blocks, I need more. <gasps> you know what's funny? I've gone inside there, I've got the 20 of them. <laughs> And I pressed record for the audio, but I didn't press the record for, <laughs> yeah, for the visuals. So yeah, that can happen. See ya. I've got a bit of the gold from the midsection. <laughs> this, is, this is just such a rookie mistake. After trading a bit with the villagers, I've got me 8 tags, which I named Eternal Workers. It's gonna be for the 8 zombies, which I'm gonna, you know, place everywhere. As for the slabs, I've got the quartz blocks from the villagers, and then I just crafted them into the slabs. Currently, it should be quite easy just to make this like that, all around. But... <laughs> It's not gonna be enough, it seems. One row took me oh, almost everything I have. Nice. This is a nice beginning. And in this way, I'm gonna be placing all the blocks on top of the glass ones. And it seems like I'm not gonna have enough of the slabs, so I'm gonna be trading a lot. Let's see, maybe I will think out of something which can help me. Or do I go into the nether, go really bonkers and try to mine as much quartz as possible. I mean this is a single player world, so I should be able to meet my needs because this was from two or three cycles of trading. Yep, 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 okay I'll go into the nether. But yeah, I like this look here, it looks fine I mean. Yeah, it looks good. Is it bright or is it... Yes, it's dark. 
Okay, okay, okay. I have the tags. I can make it work. So first, I'm gonna need to make the entrance so that I can lure the zombies inside here, which should be quite easy. I'm just gonna break this here, and then I'm just uh, gonna go to the nearest zombie and have him follow me. Yes. Two of the zombies came. Nice. Do I have some blocks which they can then traverse? I mean, no, but I do hope they won't just drown. Please. It's only here. Yeah, they drown. They aren't exactly the best swimmers, as I see. No, I need to make them away. It's a shame. Oh, the two of them came out of the water, but they are shivering a bit. Okay. No. Oh, this is so sad. I need to just get rid of them. Oh, this one is still a zombie. Okay. This is nice. This one I can use. Come on. I mean, I want two of them at the least. Oh, he gone on the underwater locks I placed. Okay, I've got two of them. Come out, come out, whenever you are. Oh, they cannot go through the carpets. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can I make them go here? Come on, zombies, come on, come on. Yeah, I can. Okay, nice. Ah, oh, oh, no, no, no. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Come here, come back here. Okay, I jump away and then, ah, yes, okay. One, two. But I did a little mistake, which I'm gonna fix a bit later. But yeah, I wanted to have one zombie per row, so I need eight zombies. So yeah, this is the mistake here. Let's see, I want to have the stained glass. I'm gonna make it with the wooden blocks. This is a five times sped up footage of me trying to place the one blocks to, uh, you know, divide them. And that I needed like one minute and 15 seconds. But yeah. Yep. Okay, nice. Got it, finally. Well, lesson learned. Next time, just prepare it beforehand. And the biggest problem currently is gonna be the zombies crossing the river, because it's way too slow. I want to make a better bridge for this. <laughs> one which is gonna be more pleasing to the eye. Oh yeah, a baby one. You are just gonna make it everything a lot harder than it needs to be. Okay, and uh, the process of building the bridge. I was most of the time silent when I just uh, did it, so this is more or less a uh, voiceover. So I created, how do I say it, to be uh, two bearings on the sides and then I just gone with slabs most of the time. I did make later down the line the rails and as a bridge it will function its purpose for zombies to cross. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta love it, right? After two and a half minutes, I finally made it to the other side of the bridge. And yeah, this is just the first look of it. It's still not gonna end up like this, but it's gonna be quite similar to what you are seeing currently. <sighs> I mean, it's just a bridge. It could be a bit bigger, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. I've got an idea, I've got an idea. Okay, and then after this, I should use something which would be, for example, a slab, an Edo slab. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it be. I just need a little bit because it's slowly getting dark. Oh no, it's still not midday. On the bridge, the trickiest parts are gonna be the ropes and the railings. Let's see. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. I mean, I'm still making the other side, but not right now. Yeah, but it's fine. It's fine. Come to puppy. Come to puppy. And jump. Oh. Oh, okay, Whew, finally. And that's another one. 
another one by the dust. Okay, another one in, and I'm gonna do the rest with the with them the same way. Okay, this is the last zombie. Slowly but surely, we can lure him inside. Try to close behind us the wall. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. It should be back there. And that's how I lured the zombies to follow me. Yeah, that's a slow work, but yeah, they're gonna work for me for a long, long time. Literally for an eternity. <laughs> Alright, they will release still, I won't kill them because they are too noisy. Okay, come, 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 come. And boop, the boop. And right now, after that, I can finally go on to the worst part. The villagers. That should do it for the workers. <laughs> for the zombies. And right now, I just gotta go firstly to sleep and secondly get the cords. It's still gonna be a long way, but at the very least the biggest pain is finally finished. I'm still not sure about how I do, you know, the interior, but yeah. And the other thing which is gonna be a pain is not this, I mean partially, but getting all the villagers inside. I mean, this is gonna be a long process which I'm not even gonna record because it's a pain. I mean, something I will record, some clips, but yeah. The second most annoying thing is gonna be the noises. Yeah, I'm not gonna be staying here for long times, truly. Well then, let's go to the nether. And how much luck do you need to have this happen to you, like to me? <laughs> oh man, I really thought I was dead here because of the lava. But yeah, somehow I've still gotten all the quartz because I don't know for which reason. But yeah, the moment I gotten this one. Oh yeah, here I placed uh, the two blocks <laughs> which destroyed the lava source. Yeah, this was funny and confusing at the same time back then. Well, let's talk about today's sponsor, me. <laughs> I'm not really sponsoring it, but I'm just making it for my own time. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just making it for fun currently. It's easy. The footage is sped up twice because I just wanted to show you a little bit of behind the scenes. In the end, even the whole quartz here <laughs> was not enough. So I ended up trading a lot more with the villager than I ever wanted. Here is the pillar of 217 blocks of quartz, which I'm gonna fortune right now. And yeah, I noticed it only right like before I got into the nether that I still got one stack of quartz slabs. Well, let's see how many quartz we get. I don't really care about the levels. I'm just for the quartz. I really do hope I'm gonna have at the very least uh, five or so stacks of slabs. Because at the very least that's much how I really need, if not more. Wait, I do need like seven or eight, no? Well, let's just wait and see. Okay, and that's done. So after slowly picking up all of the quartz, we're gonna place it into the crafting bench and then we're gonna see how many we even collected. Let's see how many we got. Only two. Oh, not really that good. <laughs> Only four, which I would gotten probably from trading too, so it's not really a win. Okay, let's go back to the job. Because there's no use crying over the spilled milk, truly. I'm still not sure about the, you know, lanterns. If I'm gonna do something like this, or if I do something like this, or if I'm gonna be big brain and I do something with stairs, you know, around it. I'm still not too sure which is gonna be looking better, so yeah, at the least I'm thinking about it, but I'm not sure what's gonna look better, like this, and then I'm gonna make those like this, and the signs are gonna be here. Yep, that's looking fine, I'm gonna stick with this. 
after the zombification the prices are gonna be so much better because this is daylight robbery daylight robbery the most annoying part for trading for the quartz is that the blocks are switching. Sometimes the block of quartz is the upper one and other times is the one at the bottom so it can be quite annoying when you want to fast trade it with the villagers. I'm gonna come back a lot later when I've got enough of the slabs. So you're probably just gonna see the transformation of this to write the finished product. But I'm still not too sure about this area here. As you can finally see, I finally, finally, after a long while, finished <laughs> the four entrances. And I have did some modeling inside here. Ta -da! It's like this. It's clean. It's not too good, but not too bad either. I will be only a bit here of the time and I still need to move all of the, you know, villagers inside. As for the one block which is gonna be behind every villager so they won't be able to escape, i still not sure which I'm gonna be choosing, but that's not the thing on the agenda. On the agenda right now is this. The platform of dirt which I'm gonna be using to create a chandelier. I mean it's not gonna be a pretty one because I have still no design in mind, but Maybe a bit later I'm gonna try to think something which can probably be a good fit. Okay, so for the height it can be probably these three from the ceiling. Yeah, that's looking fine. As for the sides, I'm still not too sure. I'm using oak because the color palette just <laughs> sits well, but that's only my really bad opinion. I mean, after playing around for like 15 minutes, I still didn't find a good design which I could use here. So I'm gonna settle with this really poop-like chandelier. Yeah, I don't like it. I really don't like it. But it's gonna stay here for a bit at the very least. I'm gonna hate it, but whatever. <laughs> oh no, I can't. So right now I still need to make the walls and move the villagers, but as I said, the moving of the villagers is gonna be a part for later. I need to sleep on it. I mean, it's already almost midnight here, so yeah. Thank you for watching, stay healthy and we're gonna see us in the next episode. Bye!